innovation in agriculture has become a vital aspect of ensuring food security and sustainable farming practices. The Innovative Agriculture for Smallholder Resilience INHR project in Egypt is a groundbreaking initiative aimed at expanding agricultural interventions to enhance the sustainability and productivity of wheat-based farming systems. With a focus on small-scale farmers, the project aims to introduce integrated cropping systems proposed by the International Centre for Agricultural Research in the Dry Areas. The INASHA project is set to revolutionise the agricultural landscape in Egypt by introducing innovative and sustainable practices. With a specific focus on six governorates, the project aims to empower small-scale farmers and provide them with the necessary tools to enhance their farming practices. The project aimed to um, promote the sustainable intensification of wheat um, in Egypt. Uh, the project was designed to uh, reduce the continued production of wheat as monocropping. Wheat is a strategic crop for Egypt and uh, is highly encouraged by the government uh, through subsidized fertilizers and uh, provision of uh, other incentives that will encourage farmers to grow it, including a guaranteed market. This project was distinctive. The other projects gave priority to scientific research, seeking results, and packages of recommendations that should be applied to farmers. But the INHR project allowed us to implement packages and recommendations for growing wheat and fava bean crops. One of the key objectives of INASHA is to increase agricultural productivity and yield by adopting integrated cropping systems proposed by the International Centre for Agricultural Research in the dry areas, farmers can benefit from improved crop rotation, reduced pest and disease incidents, and enhanced soil fertility. The crop rotation provided many things and improved the quality of the soil. In the past, there were molds and fungi in the soil and some diseases due to repeated cultivation of the same crop. But all of that no longer had an effect after the project's recommendations were followed. I planted beans this year, but I plan to switch to planting wheat next year. Repeatedly planting beans can lead to diseases and rot, so changing the crop cultivation helps with breeding and increases productivity. The crops we used to grow had low productivity and were not motivating for us. Previously, one acre of wheat yielded around 1,800 to 2,000 kilograms, but now it ranges from 3,700 to 4,000 kilograms, and occasionally even higher. Crop rotation enhances soil fertility and also decreases irrigation rates and the number of seeds utilized. Farmers have wholeheartedly embraced crop rotation due to its benefits and have independently adopted the practice without government-mandated obligations. The farmer's productivity has undeniably risen, with the average production increasing from 1,800 to 2,000 kilograms in the past to a current range of 3,000 to 4,000 kilograms. As a result, the farmer's quality of life and income have significantly improved. The increasing global population and its rising water consumption, coupled with the adverse effects of climate change causing decreased rainfall levels, pose a significant risk to rural communities in dry areas such as the MENA region. In light of this, addressing water scarcity becomes crucial. Recognising the urgency of the situation, ICADA and its partners in Egypt have developed an innovative package aimed at building resilience in these vulnerable communities. The mechanised raised bed technology, specifically designed for dryland conditions, enhances water efficiency and improves farmers' livelihoods by increasing farm productivity with fewer resources.
Unlike traditional irrigation methods that often lead to uneven water distribution and waste, this technology has revolutionized wheat-based production systems in Egypt. Certainly productivity has increased while demand for agricultural labor has declined. In the past, it took five or six workers to tend a single acre, whereas now only two workers are sufficient. Overall, the plant's condition has also improved, and I now utilize the raised bed system for all other crops. The raised bed technique has brought numerous advantages. Before, there were only a handful of fava bean growers, no more than five. But now, thanks to the success of the raised bed method, approximately 150 farmers have started growing beans on their lands. By learning about the raised bed system, I chose to apply it instead of traditional methods, resulting in saving seeds, irrigation water, and fertilizers. This change in approach significantly improved productivity with minimal effort. Using the raised bed method has resulted in a decrease in both weeds and the need for manpower. Previously, I employed 10 workers for weed collection, whereas now I only require five workers. Traditional agriculture requires 2,400 cubic meters of irrigation water per acre using the flood method, but the raised bed method consumes only 1,900 cubic meters, saving 25 to 30 percent of water. The raised bed method prevents plant stem lodging by directing water solely to the bottom of the furrows, allowing better control of the irrigation process, which is crucial for achieving high productivity. There was no technical training and support available for the farmer prior to the project. The neighboring farmers started taking notice of the project's suggestions and began sharing information with each other, resulting in the emergence of farmer leaders in the nearby villages. The iNasha project by iCarda is giving priority to seed multiplication and seed quality, both of which are vital for agricultural practices, food security, and achieving sustainable development goals. Planning certain varieties successfully address climate change in this project. For instance, in Asyut, where Orobanche is prevalent, we planted resistant varieties. Moreover, we cultivated varieties that can withstand soil salinity, high temperatures, and extreme cold. These efforts significantly contributed to the increase in yield. Additionally, seed multiplication enabled us to exchange guaranteed sacks of seeds with neighboring farmers eliminating the need to purchase expensive and unreliable seeds. The iNasha project, in collaboration with Access Agriculture, is dedicated to enhancing the value of its recommendation package by integrating farmer-to-farmer -farmer videos for all stakeholders involved. The I Nash project, Nash, which means to disseminate in Arabic, was mainly about disseminating the technology. And this is why Access Agriculture was an ideal partner in this project. We use farmer-to-farmer -farmer learning videos, combine the scientific knowledge of our research partners, as well as farmers' practical experiences. And we document this in a video form so that other farmers that want to replicate these ideas can easily learn and access this knowledge. We initiated field visits to farmers as a means to effortlessly disseminate information through our videos. This innovative approach not only facilitated effective communication between farmers, but also greatly simplified the process of receiving and implementing recommendations. The iNashar project has undeniably made a profound impact on farmers, researchers and agricultural extension specialists alike leaving behind an indelible mark of success. Communication with farmers in various locations grows. This leads to an increase in the number of farmer sectors, greater benefits, and a rise in national productivity. Not only do we provide information, but we also gain knowledge from the experiences shared with us by farmers. This is because farmers can apply inherited experiences that have been passed down through generations, which continue to benefit them. 
Despite the project's completion, the farmer persists in implementing and upholding the recommendations given to him, which elucidates the project's successful achievement of its objective. The aim of this project was to enhance the technical skills of farmers in order to increase their income, making it a very good project. This project aimed to improve the technical skills of farmers, ultimately resulting in an increase in their income. It was considered a highly successful project. Even though the project has ended, the committed farmers continue to show dedication in integrating their recently gained knowledge into their farming methods, thereby ensuring long-term sustainability. Moreover, they eagerly welcome forthcoming endeavours 